UNESA applications are now open and the closing date for undergraduates this include higher certificate, advanced certificate, diplomas and advanced diplomas and degrees. The uh, closing date is 30 November. Honors degrees and postgraduate diplomas, um, the closing date is 15 December 2020. And masters and doctoral uh, qualifications, they are opening from the 15th of September and the closing date is no, uh, is 6 November 2020. Are you doing a part-time or full-time job studying at another institution or you want and you want to enroll uh, another qualification? Are you the kind of a person who loves to stay around your loved ones? Are you a learner who did not or do not have the mind capacity to get a diploma at or the, a bachelor's degree at metric? Let me tell you, UNISA is one of the Africa's leading open distance e-learning institution you can ever choose. Uh, so today you will learn the simple step best on how to apply at the University of South Africa, UNISA Online. And the first step to know how to apply at UNISA is... Hello everyone, I believe you are well wherever you are. Mangoba here is all about helping each and everyone to revive their ambitions and reinforce their dreams. So if it is your first time reaching my channel, uh, welcome and please do not forget to hit the subscribe button so that you will not miss anything. So ladies and gentlemen, if you want to apply for NSFAS, NA University, technical universities, colleges, uh, you do not have data, you do not have any, form, in, any information to go about, you are welcome to contact me. I can do that for you. I know there are many requests and please be patient. Who can apply? Everyone who wants to start a new, uh, a new qualification, either you are a first time or a returning uh, UNISA student, you can uh, apply. If you did not accept the university's offer, you did not register for any reason, you are welcome to reapply. If anyone wants to study, wants to enroll classes at TVET College under the UNISA TVET agreement, you must also apply. At UNISA, they offer as low as a 15 APS score. This is for higher certificate. If you want to study a higher certificate, if you have 15 a point and above, you can apply at UNISA. So for a diploma, you need 18 a APS score uh, and above. Uh, and for degree, you require a minimum APS of 21 and more. You are allowed to apply for a maximum of two qualifications. Make sure you keep checking your emails because every university communicates via emails. Insert your valid email address and your valid cell phone number. Also make sure that um, you have the relevant document with you and or when you are apply at the end of your application, you can choose to pay now or pay later. Uh, and upload the proof of payment. So before we start with the application, well, uh, you will need to have your copy of your ID, all those relevant uh, documents, uh, qualification, school qualification, university qualification, your metric result or grade level result. Um, you will also need to have your cell phone number. According to information that you will provide, they will require those information. So the end, the the end rate means it is required. So without those uh, uh, document you can proceed so without wasting so much time let's get started with the process so take your cell phone tablet or go to your pc uh, go to any browser but i recommend google chrome because it does not give problem so let's go to google chrome search for the website of unisa www.unisa.unisa.ac.za So it will take you to the home page of UNISA. Ne? You can see uh, if you want to apply, you can click here, apply for admission. You can click here, apply, or you can come to this tab, admissions, and click for apply for admission. So let's click here because we're already here. So there is information. So if you're an undergraduate, you click here, undergrad undergraduate qualification, honors degrees, or postgraduate diplomas. They are already open. Uh, then this one's after the 15th of um, uh, September, you can you click here ne? and short learning programs. You can also click here. So let's do an undergraduate application. Jump all these steps and come here. Apply for admission stage four, step number four. So once you are here, click apply for admi uh, admission. 
so you can read this if you want to uh, this just to pick up so an application fee it's 115 online so if you are providing a hard copy it's 1085 yeah so if you if you are going to pay ne, so make sure that you use your student number and the application uh, fee reference number and then you come and click here so let's do undergraduate do you already have a student number if you have a student number you can click yes so i'm um, starting from scratch this one to do not have a student number click no so date of birth so indicate uh, which option um uh, applicable for so let me choose uh, rewrote and past metric subject for the uh, national senior certificate or senior certificate so let's click here so continue so here fill the choice of your study so first choice here then this one is optional uh, if you they do not take you here so make sure that you you first enter the first choice then second choice All right, i'll choose a bachelor's degree so let me see so these are the qualification you can choose from uh, let me go with this one then second choice you can choose let me also go for uh, degree let me take this one stream yes then click continue so here it's a preview of your travel of study if you want to change something you can click back or cancel and start a, a start the application afresh so let's continue so fill in the missing information yeah so yeah initials make sure that you leave a space between your initials If a South African, you click here, a South African or foreign identity number, passport, yeah, so you click that. Then indicate whether you, your gender, female or male, physical disability, if you have any, then click continue. So yeah. Enter your, your home, uh, this is a contact information, your home phone number, or and here it's your cell phone number, here. Yeah. So it's your cell phone number, here, yeah, your email address, here, yeah, then home cell phone number, here. Yeah. So make sure that um, you start with the plus two seven, the code of your country. So uh, start with the code of your country. So if it's South Africa, it's plus two seven. then go to if you have a what number or first number you can include it here So once you are done, so once you are done, click continue or back or uh, cancel to start afresh. Then here it's your postal address. You can enter a postal credit. Here it's optional. It's it either you can put your street or either your postal address. Your postal address should not have full stop, so do not post full stop. If it is your postal address, does click P O then box so it should be there should be a space in between here and no full stop ne? then enter your number then following should be your uh, should be your town or suburb yeah then here it's a, a extra additional you can enter your province or whatsoever uh, prefer to jump this one then you come here to search your postal code you can enter your turn to search
so it will appear here so you, you can click this small button to see if there's something else here so this is it click continue <coughs> then click continue so here you enter your physical address no postal address no private bank address so it can be either it can be just your physical address street name and street number then here should be your your city so it will appear here then click continue say it's your career address it is now comparison so put your physical address so it's something like your physical address no postal code no private package you can enter again your um your physical address Then enter your cell phone number here. Yeah, do not forget to start with your country code. If you fill in this information, it's all about your nationality, your, bio, your biographical information, so home language you choose. Do you have a twin sibling? If you do, you can click yes or no nationality so mm -hmm. they mean your country population group occupation if you are working this all this occupation you can choose so if you are not working uh, go to the unemployed to unemployed this unemployed or unemployed won't work not long uh, yeah, you can choose all these occupations. You can choose uh, if you are a full time, uh, full time student. Uh, you can choose here. So me, I'm a full time student. Then, economic sector. Um, you can choose where of your economic search sector. So if you are not employed, you can click here. Not applicable. You are not employed. You are unemployed. So previous economic activity you can if you have other activity you can click so yeah so fill in this information do you require for further assistance with your career planning uh, and the appropriate selection of your study program you can click yes if you do so no are you currently or retired uh, UNISA staff member if you are you will indicate are you dependent uh, are you dependent of a current or retired or diseased permanent unisa staff no are you a prisoner no then come here click the examination center that is next to you your province and your town that is next to you that will be convenient for you So, uh, do you intend to apply for financial aid? You can click here, yes. Then they will give you, uh, you can click here or no. Are you currently in the process of completing a qualification? Are you currently in the process? So, if you are, you will say yes. So, if you are not, you will say no. Indicate which qualification you, you will be completing. And click continue then comes here your because i've indicated that i am a part of this uh, appears to everyone so indicate your previous institution if you are studying then last year of registration indicate whether you're undergraduate or uh, postgraduate and uh, student number Do you intend to apply for subject examination or credit for previous studies? 
So if you want to uh, apply for a credit for your previous studies, you can click yes or no. So, so come here to school living particulars, uh, school living certificate, senior certificate, currently in grade 12, if you are in grade 12, nature, national senior certificate from 20, 2008, if you studied long time there, if you failed grade 12, you can indicate here. So if you do not know, you can click here, maybe indicate uh, here. You can click NCS, just indicate. Then uh, admission or result, um, you can choose standard 10 with full examination. You can read all of these. So yeah, did not pass the metric, uh, NS, uh, what is this? NSC, uh, entry level diploma. If you do not know, just click other. So the system will pick that for itself. So I will choose here. Metric exam number, if you remember it, your metric here. So metric province, schools. Then click continue. So here um, uh, you can read this uh, declaration and under and undertaking you can read all of this. Uh, read, read, then agree or disagree. Then submit application. So due to the information I have provided, with the information you have provided, they will require this document. So this and uh, you you have to it's a must it this uh, this document that combines the ID and the school uh, certificate so it is a must that you upload this one if you have not completed any let's say uh, previous you said you have completed a university qualification obvious here they you they will need a university qualification whatsoever information so this one is just optional so you click choose before we continue uh it only allows at a maximum of 2 2 mp or 2 2.48 uh, kilobytes if i'm not mistaken maximum of five files you can upload uh formats that allow pdf tif this is an image doc or doc choose and go and find your documents where you have saved them Then after choosing the file, click upload, it will come this side. You see, it coming this side, then you click choose again, upload the metric certificate. So here it's optional, I will choose to enter my academic record. So click choose go then once you are done you click here submit document and continue or you can log out and return later to complete your application and yeah so let's click submit the doc document so your application has been successful sent you can choose to pay now so this is a student number here you can see your student number uh, and the uh, qualification you have applied for, they, are, they appear here. So you can choose to pay online with your credit card, pay or pay later. Ne? Let's click pay later. Uh, make sure that you have mastered your student number. Let me just, you can screenshot this, press window and print screen. It's already included, uh, or you can just um, a window shift S. Then you can choose what you want to a screenshot. Yeah, then it will appear here. You click and go and save it. Then, then you look out. So you are done with Unisa application. So everyone you want to apply make sure that you contact me at 079853 for faster response just call me uh, yeah you can follow me on facebook whatsapp twitter instagram i am available there uh, 
uh, yeah, you then good luck with your. Um, do not forget, uh, NSPAS uh, applications are also open. You can um, contact me. I will be able. I uh, will be available to help you. So if you have any question, it's okay. Uh, you can ask me. So goodbye, guys. See you uh, on another video. Go and apply now.